Hey buddy, I'm Johnny Scoville and this is Chase the Heat. It's pod review. I got a really cool pod today. This is a pod. I, if you watched last night's video, I ate a bunch of peppers. And one of the peppers I ate was a mustard bun. They were grown by Tommy Brewer from Seriously Hot Peppers. Well, uh, when he picked them and sent them to me, um, we talked about the peppers and you know, they don't ripen after you pick them. So you gotta pick them right the exact same, at the right time. This is one side of the mustard bomb. I wanna show you what, what a mature, perfect, when it achieves this color, that's when the pepper is perfect. When it's got that, that is what you're looking for. So what Tom did was he set this one aside because this one does look, let me move this a little closer, because this one does look so good. He set this one aside. And what we're gonna do that today is I'm going to Review this pot, but I'm going to cut it in half. I'm going to eat the yellow side first and then the, the green side and see if there's any kind of different, noticeable taste and flavor. But um, when, when, like, here's an example of a regular pot that hasn't matured yet. All right. This is not going to taste nearly as good as this one, which is matured. That's a mature pot. Ah. So that's what we're going to be tasting today. Um, I love pod, pod season, you guys. I know a lot of you guys do too. All right. So if you didn't watch last night's video, you probably need to go watch that. I ate, I don't know how many I ate. I ate a lot. I just did question and answer, but I ate a lot. Boy, this is looking scruffy today. I'm sorry, you guys. I need to get into the shop and get it cleaned up. All right. So I have two sides. I'm going to show you these. This is the same pepper. The one on this side is the one that is more the more mature side. That looks a little better. I'm going to see if there's a different, a noticeable difference in taste. Okay, let me do the smell thing first. Wow. It has almost a, I'm not making this up. I mean, I can smell the super hot chinancy aroma. I get that mustard aroma. That mu and it doesn't smell like mustard, by the way, mustard pot smells. But there's almost a sweetness to this. I can smell almost a sweetness to this. Now, the pot's perfect. It's perfect. It's not gone past. It's not, like, past the point. It's firm as can be. Let me show you the inside. There is the inside of the pod. Okay, this is the side that's a little bit more... Caught that. A little bit more ripe. All right, so these are the two different halves. And that's the interior of those. So we're going to do the uh, yellow side first. This is a mustard bomb grown by Tommy Broom from Seriously, Seriously Hot Peppers. Um, I love pod season. By the way, let me show you this. I'm going to try to pull this in and see if the camera can see it. See if you can see the... Oh, the camera will focus on it. See the shiny on the wall lining? The, right in the, the, there, you can kind of see it there. Those, those are capsaicin oils. The inside wall lining of this pepper is really oily. Beautiful, beautiful pepper. All right, so here's the a mustard bomb um, at peak uh, ripeness. I don't know. This is the way a mustard, mustard bomb is supposed to look. And this should have a noticeably more sweet taste, I'm told. I literally just talked to Tommy like 30 seconds before I turned the camera on. So he said that I should notice something a little bit sweeter. And I could detect a sweetness in the aroma. I'm not making that up. So this is going to be exciting. I'm Johnny Scoville. This is a mustard bomb by Tommy Broom. It's JC. Now I don't know how different it's going to taste than the second half. I think the second half probably will taste similar. But compared to the pods, the mustard bombs I had last night, this is that that was absolutely sweeter. I had a better flavor. Here's what's interesting. I think with all pods, with any fruit, anything that grows, when you pick it and when you eat it, like the you want to get like a banana, you get one that's green. Doesn't it's not really good. A, a banana one is perfect. Has brown all over it. Believe it or not. So um, everything matters when you eat it. There's a certain peak of when you want to eat something and. It seems more dramatic with the mustard bombs, with mustard pods. You mean a red pot, you can pickle early, it's going to be okay. With mustard bombs, you really got to pick it so that you get that or that, that kind of the, starts to go yellow and almost gets an orangish kind of hue to it. Um, that's when you want to pick them because the flavor is dramatically different. 
We need the other half now. Tastes the same. Wow, it's just so sweet. Wow, so the lesson here is the heat's the same. It's hot. It's about a million scovels. So it's the same heat as a, a ghost pepper. It's hot. But the, the take-home lesson from this is that's really critical that you pick your mustard bombs or your mustard-colored pods. I think this is going to carry across the board on any mustard bud. Um, you really need to pick those and, and eat them when they're at peak, when they're ripe, because it makes a huge, huge difference. It's like any fruit. I mean, if you get an apple, it's not ready. It's hard. I mean, anything like that. Any fruits like that. Watermelon, you name it. But peppers, really noticeable in the flavor. Really noticeable in the flavor. Um, the heat on it, I mean, it's burning my mouth pretty good. Believe it or not, the right-hand part of my tongue, <laughs> like there's a line down the middle, of this side is kind of flaming a little harder than that side is. I must have chewed it on that side of my mouth. Um... The heat is beautiful. It's a, it's, the heat is wonderful. It's kind of radiating and starting to, it's, it has a similar heat and a similar burn than a ghost pepper. Both ghost peppers kind of ramp up slowly, kind of stay for a while, whereas a, a reaper is a real fast, violent burn. Um, this has a similar heat level as a ghost pepper and a similar kind of creeping, so it's going like this. The, the heat is radiating across my tongue now. Now more of my whole tongue is burning, not just the right-hand side. What a great tasting pepper, though. I mean it. What a really terrific pepper. If you get, you know, so the take-home lesson: get some mustard pods if you haven't had it yet. But make sure when you get them, you want if you're picking them yourself, or if you're able to look at a bunch and you're able to select the ones you want, you want the ones that have that mustard look to them, that mustard, because that's when they're going to taste the best. The heat for a non-chili head. This would really be a problem for a non-chili. If they ate the whole thing, it would be they'd be put into panic mode, too sweet. Um, so for a non-chili, this would be probably a, a 10. I, you know, listen, if you've never eaten anything hot, you put this in your mouth and eat it, you're gonna say it's a 10. Even though there are peppers that are so much hotter, you're gonna say it's a 10. So the heat's terrific. Uh, for me, my I'm getting my tolerance back up a little bit. So for me, my, to, um, my heat level is probably a two or three, two or three, probably two. Um, I ate a bunch of them last night, but it's flavorful. It's a really, really delicious pot. Love it. Love the flavor of that. But I'll tell you, it's a huge difference. If I guarantee you there are people out there that ate a mustard pod when it wasn't ripe and said, oh, I'm not sure I like that. Get Eat the mustard pods when they're ripe, and you will be happy. So we're in the pod season now. We're going to start getting a lot more pods. Well, my focus this year is going to be eating pods that I haven't eaten before. Listen, I'm not too worried about eating the hottest pod in the world. Anytime a grower gets a really hot pod, they usually call me. But I'm not worried about looking for the hottest. I really want to try some unique pods that I haven't eaten before, pods that just about anybody can eat. So look to see me do that this summer. Um, you know, all of it's subject to change because I don't know what's going to happen with the coronavirus. And the cool thing about this channel is I've learned from way back, a long time ago, is that this channel can change like that. I have no idea what direction we're headed in. I really don't. You know, it's like it's your bus, I'm the driver. But I just I don't know where we're going. I just know we're going to have a lot of fun when we do it, you know. Boy, you have no idea how much fun 2021 is going to be. Really, really cool. So we're going to wrap this thing up. Really great tasting pods. Every single time I do a, a review about peppers, it happened last night. If you go to the comment section of last night's uh, challenge where I ate a bunch of peppers, you'll see two or three of them in the comment section. Some will say, those pods look great. Where can I get some? In the description box of every single video you ever see, there's going to be a link to the person who got me those, the, who created the product with some exceptions, but usually there's always going to be a link there. Tommy Broom is a great brower, a grower. He owns Seriously Hot Peppers, one of the most knowledgeable men on the planet Earth with cycads, and that's no joke. He's a genius. Well, he's just a very great grower, but he's got pods. So if you want to get a hold of some pods right now, go to the description box, click the link for Seriously Hot Peppers, and my buddy Tom Broom. He's a great, Tom is a great grower. He's a great guy. Um, and so if you want to get some pods, and you know, here's the thing, you don't need to eat a whole pod. You can just do, I just did this for one of the people in the, here. You can just cut off a small little piece like that. Not going to kill anybody. Of course, it's on the floor now. But that, that'll give you a chance to get the flavor of the pepper, but it's not going to give you the burn. 
So if you can get your hands on some mustard pods, get some, but make sure they're ripe. Um, I'll probably shoot another one. I got some stuff. I go to the post office today. I got some stuff I got to do. Um, but I'll try to uh, make another one uh, later on this evening. Um, but know how much I love you guys. You know, we're going to get through this corona thing. And when we do, we're going to come out on the other side better for it. And boy, will we have a story to tell. You know, they talk about all these things in, uh, throughout history that they had some really, really, uh, you know, they talk about forever, the depression. This is our depression. We're going to talk about this forever. Pretty crazy. You guys are amazing. So do me a favor. If you guys have, uh, if you've never tried any, uh, or excuse me, if you've never uh, um, subscribed to this channel, do it. When you do, you're not a subscriber. <laughs> you're actually part of the family. And you do it by clicking that pepper right there cost zero. Click the uh, notification so you won't miss anything. There's League of Fire. They're an amazing company that puts a spotlight on the chili world, sort of like the WWE of the chili world, for real. Become a part of that. Right there, there are two relevant videos. Boy, you know it. I love you. I'm Johnny Scoville. This was Chase Steve.